Summertime is heating up at L L Global Voice Broadcasting. Hot music, hot talk, and hot topics. All day, every day, 24-7. You don't want to miss a minute on Global Voice Broadcasting. You're listening to On Air with Tony Sweet. The number one show for the greatest source of entertainment. Right here on Global Voice Broadcasting. The biggest stars, the hottest news, and spiciest gossip. It's all here on air with Tony Sweet from Global Voice Broadcasting. Yes, this is on air with Tony Sweet. I'm Tony Sweet. I'm here live in studio in Bronson, Hollywood. Yes, it is exciting. I can't believe it's already... What is this? July the 8th. It's hot. It's muggy. I'm in a bad... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm actually in a very good mood because it's a great show. It's all about love. It's all about relationships. <laughs> so, but on, we have... On uh, the Cupid. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> on the <But> happiness. We, <laughs> on the happiness. Well, I didn't get to see the full film because it actually presents here at Outfest on Monday, correct? Correct. It, st it starts... Um, it plays Monday, 9.30 at the DGA. No, oh, right. Right down the street, so I can come. I'll, I'll be there. And so uh, I have three very handsome men in the room. Indeed. Right? You can't Indeed. see that, right? You really are. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I always tell people, like, I don't know, I'm She's really handsome. No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> They're like, uh huh. That's why they keep saying a face for radio. <laughs> um, well, then, uh, Seriously, why are you laughing? Well, I, I I'm laughing because um, I'm a I write I resemble that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I know Noah uh, could not be here because he had to work. You know, some people have to make some money. That's but right. I have one of the lead actors, Houston Rines, hello. and and uh, hello. hello, hello, hello. I love that. that. Was a I love the way you said hello. Radio oh, voice there. Yeah, what's going on? I was practicing all morning. <laughs> <laughs> uh, producer Nicholas Downs. Yes. <laughs> well, you have. To Yes. Uh, it's <laughs> yes, like we're time. having roll call. Nicholas? Here. Yes, I'm here. Present. <laughs> Check. <laughs> and then, JC, I'm going to try to say your last name. You said it better with an a, with a Italian accent, right? Cal Cal okay. Cal and I'll let you Cal struggle. It's Calciano. Calciano. Actually, with the Italian, Ooh. it's Calciano. Oh, Calciano. See, I got but it wrong. the Americanized Calciano. version is Calciano. Calciano. With, with Tony's country accent, it's Calciano. <laughs> so that's... Bless that's, you. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Tissue, please. Um, but... Uh, and you're the writer, director, yes, yes. producer, yep, everything. Man. You created this, all this beautiful online dating. I, yes, I, <laughs> I invented the internet and created online Yes, she did. <laughs> and why didn't you, <laughs> why can't you ever find me a date? No, I was kidding. <laughs> I thought that's then why, why haven't you perfected it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I always get the ones that are like 95 and I say, okay, I'll date them at least for a while until they croak. And they never do. <laughs> so they never be 120. Um, but thank you guys for being here. I really appreciate you, you all actually being in studio because it's nice to, to see your faces. Yeah, especially their faces. I know, right? Oh, wow, that's a flattery going on. <laughs> I, I like it. We well, have no money to give yeah. you, so that's all you're going to get is flattery. A lot of compliments. And so, well, um, I'm going to start with you, JC, um, since you created it. I want you to go ahead and tell us, for the people out there and, and intriguing them to go see this on Monday, tell us about what eCupid is all about. Well, eCupid is uh, stands for Electronic Cupid, like uh, the app, and we created an actual app to to bring the movie experience to your iPhone as well. Oh. So we actually do have an app, but the movie is called eCupid, and it's a uh, it's a story about the electronics of today and how it gets involved in this young couple's life, and they're the the perfect young couple who are having a little trouble with their relationship. And they, one of them downloads an app to help him uh, sort out his situation with love. And the app takes over his life and really gives him everything that he thinks he wants. And he kind of uh, learns that a little too much of a good thing may not be such a great thing. <laughs> Sometimes. Uh, yeah, that's just life. <laughs> well, Houston, since you're the, one of the lead, I want you to tell us about your character and... Who he is? Kind of explain his his drama. Okay, that I, he brings uh, to the screen. I I play Marshall Thomas in the movie. Marshall is the he's the one who downloads this this mysterious app. Where did uh, that come from? Yeah, <laughs> sorry, gets tricked into it. But he's questioning his he's in a seven year relationship. He's questioning that he's not happy with his job. He's just and, and he basically just doesn't. He's not happy with anything. He just <laughs> questions everything and <laughs> miserable. Yeah, he's not a happy guy about it. He downloads this app. It takes over his life like jc said it throws him in all these crazy situations with these 
kooky characters we have in and out of the film and hijinks and hilarity <laughs> continue on and That's on. That's great. Yeah. And Nicholas, you're the producer or one of the, the no. <laughs> one of the producers. And and so I know you you're an actor also and I'm surprised that he didn't want to participate as an actor in this film. Well, well let's not say I didn't want to. I, but. Oh, oh, so yeah. JC, you wouldn't let Tony, him see. Tony, watch it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Well, what happened was... I, I thought I scared him. Uh, uh, well, um, <laughs> to, be, to be fair, that since the last movie, his rate went up, and I couldn't afford it. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Nicholas Downs is very expensive. Well, is it just it's me that true. the last movie that... we you, Actually, you were on my show, and we talked about, yes. and it was a great movie. Thank you. And Adam didn't look that bad either. No, he didn't look bad. So... <laughs> <laughs> so, I <laughs> know, really? Have you seen Oh, you didn't, haven't seen it. Oof. <laughs> anyway. Well, that's a movie that, that JC wrote and directed as well. And it came I got out this right here. Last year. It's actually it. available yeah. on DVD now. It's on Netflix and iTunes and Amazon. And oh. so this it's, guy's a salesman. It's out there He's in the good. World. And uh, I, I, you know, and, and, I, and that movie was just coming out. Is it just me? It was just coming out. And, right. and, uh, and so JC was starting the next one. So the idea was to have something completely new and different, a completely new, different cast. And so that the, the JC could create this world that all these characters uh. live in. In. And I don't want to give too much away what JC boy, talked least, about. Something. <laughs> I know. We actually, I do have a little bit of a cameo in it. You have to look really close. Yeah. Did you dress, yeah. like, oh, dress up like Morgan Fairchild? Yeah. <laughs> Who is in the movie? I can't. Okay. Oh, right so back great. over that's to awesome. here. How did you get these characters? You know, yeah. uh, Morgan. I mean, come on. That's a big name. Yeah, Morgan was great. I, well, I, I hired a casting director, Mark Sykes, to, to help me cast because I really feel that that's the most important thing is to have a really tremendously talented right. cast. Definitely. And I wanted an iconic Hollywood actress who could really represent, be the angel of love, the goddess of, goddess of love, and play the character of Venus and, and embody the app as if the app were really uh, this angelic character. And he suggested Morgan. And I said, you know, that would be amazing. So uh, I said, do you think we, we can get that? And he says, well, I'll... I'll call her and send uh, the script to her manager and agent and we did and they they uh, read it and Morgan said you know I know it's a small project but I really uh, I'm a big supporter of the GLBT community and oh, I nice. and I, I love the right. project and I'd love to to be involved so she really did us a huge favor by coming in and getting involved in the movie but not only the movie but also the app because the, she's the voice in the movie right. of the app right. and then she is the voice of the app in the app so that's she awesome. really has a, a great role in it that's awesome and does she ever age seriously I know I, don't think so. no. I want to dip really? in that water whatever that she's <laughs> yeah well, I think she's still 35 do, right? I had to do a double <laughs> take because it almost when I'm looking at this postcard I'm thinking to myself it looks like her well, I 20 remember, years ago yeah, I was going to say I remember in the 80s watching her yeah. going okay she's beautiful and now I'm like She's, She's still changed. beautiful. Yeah. She's not changed one bit. Um, so back to you. Oh yes, Nicholas. thank you. Man. Back to Nick. <laughs> so how did how did you get involved as a producer? Well, after Is It Just Me, I worked really closely with JC and pushing the film and supporting it and going to all the film festivals and, and trying to install that side of how once you do a movie, it's not just enough to make it, but you actually have to sell it and market it and do all those things. And mm -hmm. so I learned a whole new side, and then JC wrote E Cupid. And I'm finding myself as an actor that I'm needing to expand myself and, and, and put more fingers out into other areas. It's important. And, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and like, Watch where you stick those fingers. I know. I'm right next to you. I know. I was like... <laughs> Got, got gonna Are we going to have to separate you two? <laughs> That's what JC said outside. We'll put, well, Zoe, go get Zoe, it. This, go is, get this is a day on well, set ready. of EQP right here. Right. You just woke her up. Oh, hi, Zoe. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but but you know, and I, I was like, I have to, I have to learn producing because it's not enough just to go to auditions anymore for me. I have to find a way to produce myself, and I really enjoyed working with JC. And I was like, you know, if there's any way I can help you out and work on this project, I really want to. He's like, yeah. He's like, if you're available, come work on it with me. So I was able to do be there for pre-production and, and also through production during the, the 12 days of shooting, which I'll get that in there because that was fast. Uh, and <laughs> 12 days. That is 12 fast. Days. Oh, yeah. And yeah, then it's like a Christmas song, amazing. right? Well, that was 12 days of Christmas. <laughs> 12 days of filming. That would be a great movie. <laughs> that would be a good drag queen <laughs> Wouldn't that be to great? perform that. 12 days of shooting. Anyway. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And then, uh, and then posting it out, and then you know, just even servicing all the film festivals and getting them all their prints and DV, you know, everything. He's it's smart. A, it's a full time by the way. job. You're smart. Yeah. Am I? No, I just listening to you. I'm like, you are. You're a you salesman. Are. He really uh. is. <laughs> but and it's also because I, I remember. You... Well, I've seen him like when it, it's just me. I remember seeing him promoting so much, and it's it's 
I think that's the key to success is really about yourself, a project or whatever it is. And to, to reach out of all the people I've interviewed, you know, in the last three years that so many of the ones that are successful, that they, they branch out. They don't just act. They go behind. They go into this and they go into that. And it's so, it's great to scare me. I thought something was leaking. Oh, well. <laughs> I was like, um, but it's great to see see you in person for one thing. But to see your energy and your your uh, uh, excitement for this film and what you do, it's it a little off the subject. But it's just great to see that. No, but thank you. <laughs> it's, it's important. I find, at first I was a little nervous about branching out and doing something else because I thought, am I sacrificing and leaving something behind? But no, no. Actually, after I took it on and said, no, I need to do this. Now it makes so much sense. And plus, it's just nice to work with people that you like, and you know. Oh, you and, like him? Yeah. Ooh. Wait, do you, oh. was that JC or me? <laughs> Did you like me? <laughs> Sorry, about Houston. Okay, so oh, I get okay. over there. I just vaguely, him up. vaguely pointed in that <laughs> he was, direction. He was like, <laughs> I, just, I just didn't know he liked me. He was like, like flipping the finger and then. Are <laughs> you like, talking to me? <laughs> <laughs> well, I JC, do like you, Houston. JC, Thank when you when you when you because you created all this stuff and producer, director, all this. When do you, when, what do you look for in the people you want to have in your your films? Because you've done a lot of stuff. I mean, so yeah. Well, I well first, I obviously when I when I look for an actor, I look for an actor who talent can, can act. Yeah. Um, Sorry about that. Then. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I also I also think that I'm a good judge of character, and I and I try to surround myself with people who I I want to go down an experience with because I know that. You know, you shoot a movie in, in a couple of weeks, and you post a movie, and then that's that's the easy part, and that's the short part of it. Then the movie has years that go on after that. You know, I promote the film for you know, two years at the film festivals, and, and take the talent with me as as much as possible. Travel right. all over the world. You know, last uh, last film we played uh, fifty film festivals internationally, wow. and, and wow. E Cupid were probably going to play close to seventy. So, so wow. a lot of traveling yeah, ahead of you. So, <laughs> yeah, so I, you know, I try to surround myself with people of character, people who I, I, I enjoy spending time with, and, and I try to create an atmosphere on the set and in all my productions and, and in my company that it's a family of people who can, who can trust each other and can depend on each other and, and like each other. So we have a mutually good experience for the next Year, oh, our years to together. Mutual. Okay. Well, I, I li- I'd like someone to like me back. <laughs> we love you, JC. <laughs> well, Houston, how, how was it working with JC as your creator and director? Uh, terrible. <laughs> He's right uh, next to you, right? No, uh, <laughs> actually, amazing. And it, it's part of this story where because we shot so quickly. And uh, me and Noah would go back and forth like, did we get it? Did we get it? <laughs> On these takes, um, just questioning it. But then when it wasn't what, what JC wanted, you would see him, he would direct it or you'd see it with other actors. So then you would, you know, you started to, tr- like, you started to grow and, like, trust JC a little more, as I think you always do in the beginning. I don't know if you, <laughs> if you trust me just yet, but. <laughs> not after um, this interview. No, I know. Probably, <laughs> I know. probably not. Yeah. Uh, but it was great. Like, it, I. I learned a lot on set, and it's great working with JC. Well, I know you, awesome. you've tried out for Is It Just Me? Oh, my God. You do do your research. Maybe. Do do? <laughs> do do. A, do, a, do, li- do. a little bit. Can I just say just that? A little, a little earlier. bit. Who no, told you that? <laughs> so we. Oh, she's Zoe, actually my researcher. She's our psychic. Yeah, she's <laughs> my psychic researcher. She does everything. I should have a show. And yeah. so, were you bitter the first time that you didn't get the job, and now? <laughs> cut, just cut to the chase, there, Tony. Hey, Why don't you? Know, I'm just yeah. telling you how it is. I was not bitter. We're not FCC regulated, so you can yeah. say whatever. <laughs> Anything goes. I already said doo doo. Oh, I mean, that's, that's enough true. out of me. Brett's <laughs> pushing it. Yeah. So you could have made out with me instead of. No. All right, boys, bring it back. <laughs> oh, so those two are getting split up. Yeah. It's insane. <laughs> As my friend used to do, he'd snap his finger and go, focus. Oh, yeah, focus. Okay. Right Bring I'm it like, back. Adderall, Bring it back. Adderall, Adderall, Adderall. <laughs> so, I, so you did audition for Is It Just Me? I did. And so were you, even, were you surprised when he came to you and asked you to audition again? Uh, I was surprised. I actually, I don't, I don't know if I've told JC this, but I forgot Ooh. that, I forgot about the project. <laughs> I forgot I auditioned for it. <laughs> Did you? Ser- you I forgot. Wow. Seriously forgot. Really? See, that's how he really I feels. forgot all about that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, w- I remember that. No, I remember that script. I remember going out for that. And uh, JC contacted me and sort of did a semi-pitch about this script. And I checked it out and I read it. And I was immediately on board. And that was it. I, was pretty, I guess I was pretty easy to get, except it was... 
probably hard to find me. <laughs> Something That's I funny. find interesting yeah. is that the movie is about technology and, and all these different things. And what's funny is that what can I say? Yeah, well, you reached out yeah. to Houston via Facebook because he. Yeah, I was just gonna say, just go to Facebook. You'll yeah. find him. Well, yeah, it's, so funny. Facebook, it's amazing. Like, so well, you know, they talk about not putting stuff on Facebook that's gonna like you know make you yeah. look bad or you know incriminate you and all this kind of stuff. But it's kind of true because people now use it as a tool, and you can send somebody a message, and it was like you know trying to reach somebody mm-hmm. from the past, and it's like you know here I need to to reach sometimes this actor. Sometimes it's a good thing, well, and sometimes it's, actually, it's not. It's the story not is actually that's true. What that's happened was true. Uh, he did Houston did come in for for is it just me and I. I thought he was a terrific actor, and I and uh, I didn't think he was right for for. Was his abs not me? good enough? Yeah, he, the abs. Ouch. He had an hour, Ouch. An hour, a year's worth of crunches before yeah. I would uh, I would hire him. But then uh, what happened was I, I had him on file, but I didn't. I I reckon I I kept him on file. But his name got separated from the information, and, and an oh, actor funny. who had who I had cast years earlier in a movie. Uh, was on my Facebook and he was friends with Houston. So I, I called funny. up, I looked up one of my other actors from another movie to call him in and I saw Houston was his friend and I was like, <laughs> that's the guy I've been looking for for this role. And that's, that's, that's how funny. I tracked him down. That's like a Hollywood but, you know, story. Yeah. I know. Well, uh, and I think the, the great story. thing about this is it just goes back to don't ever burn your bridges. You know, yeah. like when people oh, get angry. Oh, good thing it wasn't me. I know. Huh? You know, and they bring, and, and, because you, you do, you may have gone for a part, but then all of a sudden, you know, years later, you never know when you might be considered for another. That's right. So it's so true. Do not burn those bridges. I feel like it's a great oh. example of, a, it's like a mini example of the many, many things you have to do as an independent filmmaker Absolutely. to get your film done. Like you, you think of creative ways to get it done. He went through Facebook to find an actor he wanted. I'm sure you have a thousand mm-hmm. stories that Jason could tell you about what and he had if, to do to get this film made. It's just, yeah. And if so you yeah, weren't, if you weren't interested, right then you just block, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you just click the block button. Some of those stories <laughs> might have to be censored for the radio. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, remember, we're, again, we're FCC, <laughs> not, we're not regular. Oh, so you can Jason, oh, yeah. do uh, uh, So, you know, doing independent films, you don't always make a lot of money. You may well, make not some, in this case. We're rich. but <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, we're. but what JCAs. what makes you? I mean, you have to be really love what to do what you do to do this because, like I said, some some don't pay off. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. You're, it's it's true. I mean, yeah. I've been I've been fortunate that um, I've been su- my films have been successful, right. but they haven't been successful enough to warrant the inordinate amount of work that goes into them. And um, the thing is, for me. I I love showing the movie to the audience, and when I can go to a film festival and I can see an audience, mm-hmm. along with a journey that was only in my head and has been actualized, and I could see an audience really enjoy the film, and then I go up to the Q and A, and people tell me how important the characters were to them, and how they could see themselves in the characters, and and how the film is meaningful to them. That is what makes it worth it, and that's what. Uh, you know, I think I've spoken to a couple other filmmakers who we've had similar conversations, and it's it's those emails in the middle of the day that just comes from a fan that says, you know what, that character spoke to me, and 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 you know, you've given me the courage to go out and look for a relationship for myself. That's what kind of fuels you every day to to do this because it's it's uh, a, sometimes other than the audience, it's a fairly thankless job. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But what you just said really is what um, the heart is of a filmmaker. You know, if, we're, if we really go back to it, I mean, what you just said is the passion behind it all. I also want to go back to the fact that you, you, you're involved in so many film festivals. And the reason that you've gone, you know, to 50 and then you think this one's going to be 70. I mean, having just been involved with the Los Angeles Greek Film Festival and seeing, you know, just what comes out of it and what comes out of it for the filmmakers and so forth. Uh, it's interesting because what their ultimate dream is is that it's going to get picked up. But you're talking about going into 70 Film festivals. That's a lot. I, you know, isn't the ultimate goal that to be it distributed? Gets, right. Well, yeah. Um, and and I've I've. Is it just me? Came out in November, and we're still in film festivals. We're right. still running film festivals, and uh, I am still supporting the film and uh, promoting it. And right. even in San Diego uh, next month, we've got a d- double feature of Is It Just Me and Ecube at the same night. Oh, so that's great. Uh, oh, that's oh. great. So a it, night of JC. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's all about you. <laughs> when I think it comes to distribution, the ultimate goal, of course, is theatrical. Right. You know, but a lot of the yeah. films get DVD and, and right. DVD, which is fine. Especially right. nowadays. Yeah. But but what the film festivals uh, festival circuit does is it allows for a theatrical type distribution in individual mm-hmm. towns and it brings a film to a, a town that maybe someone didn't hear about so it is a lot of built-in marketing as right, well right. 
Right. And I'm assuming that you strategically are choosing film festivals, obviously, and locations and, and so forth. Yeah, far. we, we do. Uh, I, I, try to, uh, I try to choose fes- festivals that, uh, you know, in, in certain areas. And one of the other things that I do at festivals is that uh, I try to give back to the community. So often, mm-hmm. if, it's a, if it's a festival that uh, is aligned with the community center, I will... Um, We'll do a percentage of the ticket sales that go That's back nice. to the uh, local that community, nice. community center. That is really nice to hear. So one of the, uh, I, I'm a big I, – I really believe that uh, you have to support the community. So what we do is I do a pro- proceeds percentage of the film's sales and DVDs and, and VOD go to the Trevor Project. Oh, and nice. then I uh, when I do to a, a local film festival, I will uh, – partition a percentage to go to the local GOBT community. So I, I try funny. to really make it uh, something that the community can, it can you know, yeah. supports the community. Well, because the community is what's supporting the what's supporting, yeah, and absolutely. Yeah. That's awesome. That I like hearing great. that. And it's good. something you said about, you know, when people come up to you and say, this, you know, affected me this way. What is, what is one of the most memorable of any movies that you've done that are more GLBT or LGBT, depends who you ask. Uh, <laughs> which which is one that's really stuck out in your mind? In what movie was well, that? Well, actually, um, a lot of people, and, and Nicholas gets this a lot. Of, a lot of people write to him about the character of Blaine. But uh, when we were in Boston this last couple of months ago, E Cupid uh, played in Boston. And it was one of the earlier screenings of it, and uh, at the after party. Some some guy came over to me. One of the actors brought this this uh, fellow over who had watched the film, and he said, he said, you know, I'm I'm in my middle, I'm, I'm middle aged, and uh, he said I've been single my whole life, and he says, and I watched the movie, and I learned something about myself that I had never, wow. I have never known. He says, and, and he goes, and I think that I have a chance at finding love because of what I've seen tonight and wow. what I've re- been able to recognize in myself and and what I've been doing wrong in my relationships. And that's incredibly powerful to wow. to be able to touch yes. somebody like that and kind of uh, help them along a path. Yeah. And and one of the things that uh, I try to do, and you'll see in both films, they're very strong themed films. There's there's a very strong theme about uh, love and community and supporting each other and how mm-hmm. we all kind of are are essential in each other's lives. And uh, I think that. That to me is what's most gratifying mm-hmm. to to get from an audience is mm-hmm. that they they get that message. It's important to them. They can relate to it. They see themselves in that, and it, and it kind of energizes their own personal journey. Mm. I love That's that. Awesome. I love that. So, what did, if all of you guys, and we'll start with JC and just go down the row here. <laughs> but what did you learn about making this film? How to date online? <laughs> I'm I'm yes. <laughs> well, you know, it's funny that what I learned from from both films is that uh, I wrote the movies based on on my own insecurities and and, right. and things that I I had thought and and dreamed of and thought that I was fairly unique in in my perception of things. And what I have learned is that uh, <laughs> I am just like everybody else and that the, everyone feels the same way and everyone shares the same uh, needs and insecurities and that uh, that I am very much part of a, of a bigger bigger group of people who all uh, hmm. have the same issues. So that was kind of my revelation in, in these both films. And I'm sure Houston yeah. doesn't have any insecurities to relate to, <laughs> right? So. Nope. <laughs> all I ask. He says pass. I know. Yeah. <laughs> pass. And yeah. With that strong name, is that now? Is that your real name? That's that, my real that name. Is, that is that yeah. is such a great name. I think you my mom likes John time, Wayne. Oh man, that's a great name. Did you used to hear that all the time? Houston, we have a problem all the time. Yeah. yeah. It's today. like, and, like it's today. either being from Kansas, the last name is Sweet. I what? hear and it goes Dorothy with, and just it goes Sweet with part from of what granola. happened today with the Atlantis, the you know the end of an era today. Oh yeah, the show. Yeah, How appropriate that thirty we have, years mm-hmm. that we have you born. here, Houston. Everything okay up there? <laughs> You weren't even born, neither one of you. JC, you weren't even born, neither. I no, I was. Yeah. You were just in the All womb. right, let's get past the oh, age yeah. thing. So anyway, so Houston, <laughs> so what did you learn from uh, this film? I, I, it's universal, like the universal, the message in this film and the theme of love. I, one of my favorite things was you were asking about things you hear from other people. One of my favorite things, we were in Toronto playing out there. Um and a, a guy said in the audience, he says, I can't wait to show my wife this movie. And it 
were the universal message of love. I was like, wow. And going into it, I kind of that's cool. That's one of the reasons I did the film. And going into it, you don't you don't know exactly. how how much of impact it is until you get out there and you're seeing the people, and then for them to respond like that mm-hmm. back to us was amazing. I love that. I love that. Yeah. What about you, Nicholas? No, nothing. No, I'm <laughs> Come on. I learned nothing. <laughs> on, the, on the technical side, uh, I kind of mentioned it before, just, just learning things about producing and learning things that I didn't think that I could do before or things I doubted myself being able to do, and then sort of going through this particular film uh, specifically, I felt like, wow, actually this gave me the, the, the encouragement and the strength to know that I could do them. Um, and then on the, you know, on the more sort of film side of the actual uh, theme of the film is, you know, just thinking about um, the fantasies and the grass is green on the other side and what else another life might be. And mm-hmm. there's nothing wrong with thinking those things. But, of course, acting on them and doing them is a completely different thing. And it just makes me feel like seeing the movie it makes me feel uh, happy about my own relationship and, and the current one I'm in for seven and a half years now wow a long time yeah wow. and so it just makes me when I see the film it's like wow like you know there's nothing wrong with thinking but I, but doing's a whole different world when I know that I've got somebody yeah. as, mm. as I think living here in LA gay straight whatever you are it's really I think so many people there's so many good looking people out here come on I mean really there is yeah. but you know that's where I'm from problem. that's the I said that, I think that that's is the problem. you know yeah. I, being in Kansas I had a seven year a five year a two year I get here, I barely can get through dinner. <laughs> like, I gotta go to the back, and they never come back. Uh, no, uh, but seriously, <laughs> it's, <laughs> but it's what's funny is it's you know you get out here and there's so many you know things to look at. It's like you go to a museum doesn't mean you're gonna take the painting home. You just look at it and then you, exactly. you know. And I think a lot of people just. I, 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 what I say is a lot of people come here to live the dream. And when mm-hmm. you live a dream, your feet never touch the ground. So there's never any consequences. And I think that's what people that happens to them. They get it in their head that mm-hmm. it's just this fantasy that just ke- continues until you get to be about 45. And then it's like, okay, do I move to Palm Springs? <laughs> <laughs> you know? And, and so I think but, that's what happens. Then I, you wake up. Yeah. But I think that, I think it's also because they're trying to become something that maybe they're not. So oh, on the yeah. outside, they look like something else, but on the inside, they're still that same person. I met a guy one time. And from so they're Kansas. trying to camouflage that. You I know? met a guy from Kansas one time and he was like, yeah, hey, and I said, yeah, I'm from Kansas too. Completely turned him off. Whoa. Okay, and just and every time he won't even if talk I to me now. From Kansas, I'd go and stay in exactly. Kansas. I think what? he wanted to be the Midwest boy. I think he did. Wow. I think he did. All no. I do is talk to Ohio people. I don't understand that. <laughs> don't Ohio people, Ohio. like the way it's he either Ohio, Texas. Ohio people. Ohio people. Yeah, a lot of They're Texas boys life. here, though. A lot of te- and so you're from. You're actually from Brooklyn. Yeah. Wow. Well, you yeah. did do your research. Well, you just told me earlier. Okay. Uh, I just my memory. A Brooklyn. I don't know how to spell your name or your last name again, but no, I can remember. You're from Brooklyn. So how did you get from Brooklyn to here? Well, I... Uh, a car? Yeah. Train? Well, <laughs> I've been trained. Yeah, I moved, I moved to L.A. when Stage I was uh, 27. <laughs> Stage coach. When you what? I, I moved, I moved uh, from New York to L.A. Uh, when I was 27. And, Four years and, ago. Yes. And they said, uh, this is why, you know, Jeez. this is why L.A. And I says, because I hit water. That's really, really <laughs> I couldn't go any farther. <laughs> I was like, all right, I'm 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 leaving and I'm just going to drive west till I hit sand. So that was pretty much why. Um, That's funny. That and was, you uh, always wanted to be a filmmaker? Or? Yeah, I, I actually did. I, I always uh, I always enjoyed doing it when I was young and, and uh, did my own little video projects and, you know, mm-hmm. eight millimeter Mm-hmm. videos when I was a kid and then um, went to film school and have been in the business ever since. Hey, I was That's looking great. at your resume. You've done quite a bit of stuff. Yeah. Because I'm old. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Just your quick, quick learner. and a quick learner. Yeah, and yeah. If you your do experience. stuff in 12 days, come yeah. on. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you can do a lot in yeah. 12 days. I've never finished yeah. any of it. That's why. <laughs> 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 I've Sarah palin it all. Oh my gosh! It's Whoa. In fact, what? What? This has got political. What's funny? What? You know, she has a document. Well, I don't know if she does, but there's a documentary coming out about her next yeah. week too. And actually, I, I'm having the director on for that. Oh, really? I, she and, went to a really? screening of it recently, right? Her yeah. first, yeah. Is it at Outfest? <laughs> <laughs> that would have been a. No? That would have been a funny one, wouldn't it? <laughs> Somebody just submit it without telling her. Oh, wouldn't that would be funny. Great. Um, so, what about you, Houston? So, you're from Ohio. So what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Where's that state? Where's that? I don't know. Somewhere up in the north. Oh, okay. you're here and here are a Yankee. Um, so, how did you become an actor, and then also go from Ohio to here? I I got put into a film sort of accidentally. When, Born? 
I was I was born. <laughs> yes, it was the the film of my birth. No, he, oh. he said porn. Oh, did you say porn? <laughs> yeah, I did. I said porn. I'm like, and whatever you want to go. Or with porn, it. whatever. <laughs> Some okay. people get into that birth stuff. I don't know. <laughs> oh, that was really awkward now. <laughs> back, to, um, back to Houston. <laughs> I, I just started working with a filmmaker. I, I got into. I really wasn't. I, where I grew up, I probably didn't even know acting was a, a real choice in your life. I kind of was like, there's people on the screen. Like, oh, they're actually real people. So <laughs> uh, once I got put in that film, I started, I caught the bug, so they say, and started getting mm. into it. And if you want to be an actor, you better drive yourself where there's people making films. So <laughs> I brought myself to L.A. Here and here, and, and I know, you be. and Nicholas, we've talked to, before about you getting to acting. So, that, but for the people, I'm sure they new, remember. No. Yeah, it's been a long time. So, tell us how you got into acting and then out to here. Well, I always wanted to do it living in Iowa, but like kind of same thing with Houston. It was no, no one was pushing me to do it. No one was encouraging me to go be an actor, you know. Um, but I knew I wanted to do it. Um, and a movie came to Iowa called Harvest of Fire, which is a Hallmark Hall of Fame movie with Patty Duke. Mm-hmm. And then I got cast as a young Amish boy, <laughs> and uh, oh, I, I, I would it. get up at four a.m. But that was yeah, wasn't that a Lifetime? It was well, it what probably plays it? on Lifetime, but oh, it was okay. a Hallmark Hall of Fame oh, movie. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah, about the Amish and their yes. barns being burned down, and yeah. I just played. I had a small part, um, and I remember getting up at three a.m. to drive the hour and a half to get to set every day mm-hmm. and be there, and, and you know, it was just like my first real experience, and it was amazing because it shot over in Iowa City, which is in eastern Iowa. <laughs> um, and so I, I got met the director on there uh, on that movie, Arthur Allen Seidelman. And uh, he's done a lot of work and had, had at that point done a lot of extensive work. And I got to be friends with him. And he said, you know, if you really want to pursue this, you should go to New York or L.A. And I said, well, I've had enough winters. So I want to go to L.A. I was going to say, yeah, New York. Yeah, no, yeah. I was like, no offense to New York. I've been there. I love it. But I, don't, I didn't want to move there. So yeah. I moved out to Los Angeles and started working on my career and have been here ever since. And the last three or four years, I've been able to make a living at it. So... I'm hoping I can sustain that. Nice. It's always good to make money for what you like doing or yeah. love doing, actually. Because yeah. then it's not, I always say if you love what you do, it's never a, a work. It's just something you like to do. Yeah. It's like a hobby. Exactly. I like hobbies. Me too. I won't tell you what they are. Cause no. <laughs> no, just kidding. Porn. Kind of prefer, yeah, porn. porn. <laughs> not born. Porn. Right? Okay. Got it. Zoe that, was got my that first. That. Uh, no, it's good. Oh, <laughs> look at Mama. Oh, she, I'm not, she's going to rip my head off. Mama just look looked at Zoe me. got scared. I know. You look at your face. Well, this it's going to be showing this coming Monday at 9? 9? 9.30. 9.30. That's late. That's past my bedtime, but I'll be there. I'll be there. Yeah, I promise. Yes. At the Director's Guild up on Sunset Boulevard. Yeah, and tickets uh, are going fast. So oh, I'm sure they yeah. will be. Yeah. I was just going to say, it sounds like one of those that's going to be a sellout. We had, yeah, especially if it's a local, fil- you know, filmmakers are local too. Which yeah. JC's like popular. Yeah. Well, last year. You sound very uh, popular. Is it just me sold out the Ford, which is like over 1,200 seats, and this is 600 at the DGA. Oh, so it's, it's wow. Good. Yeah, you better yeah. get it today. Get it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're doing well with sales. I, I, I asked them, they said we're almost sold out. That's great. That's wow. Great. Well, good job and congratulations, all you guys. And I appreciate you coming in. Thanks. I had a great time. And, and can I plug the app before? Go. We, yes. Before we yeah. go, I just plug uh, away. I would just like to mention that we do, uh, you know, independent films. This is my little sh- quick spiel that uh, independent films, we don't have the money for marketing and advertising. So usually word of mouth is really the best thing that we could do. So if you uh, get a chance to friend us on Facebook or check us out at uh, facebook.com ecube of the movie and have seen the movie and you like it then you know tell your friends as much as you can and spread the word Definitely. and we also have an app which you can get at the uh, iTunes store and the name of the app is eCupid, and um, it's a love test compatibility. I, I pulled it up. They can hear Morgan. So should, should I want to hear, yeah, oh, hear. Oh, yeah, hear it. Oh, Morgan's voice. That's right. She's the voice okay. on it. Okay, push it. Scanning. <gasps> Hold still now. <laughs> this is uh, Houston and Nicholas, seeing if we're compatible. Okay. I'm sorry to tell you this, but it's about to turn midnight on your Cinderella. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And I'm the Cinderella. <laughs> 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 Cinderfella. You guys are Cinderfella. Yeah. See, that's why we needed to split you two up. I know. <laughs> See, if you would have said over that. here. It's been midnight for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Many uh-huh. midnights. <laughs> Mine's just a brick. That's Not even great. a glass. It's just like, I've been wearing bricks all these years. But I love you put your thumb print on there. Yeah, yeah two people put their thumb scan. Oh, how funny. Wow. And E-Cupid will decide uh, how compatible What's your fate is. iTunes, huh? And you, oh. you say iTunes? 
Uh, yeah, you can download it on iTunes. I'm gonna, yeah. Wow, I'm going to try this now. That's kind of yeah, cool. It's, really, the apps, it's on the I'm app like, I'm just still like, here, put your phone, phone right there. I know. Really. <laughs> or uh, pretend like you're going to hand it to him. Uh, will you take my phone, please? Yeah. <laughs> I think it was the idea. It's a fantastic icebreaker if you're out. Yeah. I know, and yeah. they're like, no, I'm not going to do and it. And it, yeah. it doesn't have to be your thumb. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. What, what, oh. Oh. what else could it be, Jason? What else? Yeah. Your, <laughs> your toe. <index> <laughs> your toe. <laughs> yeah. You are your naughty. You <laughs> need to come back more often. <laughs> Well, thank you guys. Come back anytime. You know where I'm at now. I'm yeah, not hiding good luck anymore. With everything, right. you guys. Thank it's you. Great. I know. Thank you. And thank you. And so, don't forget, go see this before they sell out. And uh, your next project is where in New York? It, the next or one's the next Philadelphia. Philadelphia. Philadelphia, and then New York. Uh, so next week we're in Philly, uh, showing twice, and then New York showing twice wow. the week after that. You guys are going to be busy. Great. A lot of concealers. And tonight, well, tonight it doesn't wear in North Carolina. Well, tonight, uh, t- well, tomorrow night, actually, it's in North Carolina. Tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow night. Because we're doing a Skype Q&A. It's going to play in Winston-Salem, oh, nice. and, and then oh, Noah's cool. going to be there as well, and we're all going to get together and Skype a Q&A with Oh, them. sure, he'll oh, be fun. there for the Skyping, but not mm-hmm. for Tony. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, next, Noah. Next movie. <laughs> <laughs> well, we will be right back. I'm going to play a little Rascal Flats. You know why? Because I like some. I won't <laughs> no, huh? I won't <laughs> let go. I won't let go in the end. We'll be right back. It's like a storm that cuts a path. It breaks your will. It feels like that. You think you're lost. You're not alone 